Good afternoon. Here is the national news from BGI TV, Baba Bagere Imo TV. I am Morire Rebila Lawal. First are the major headlines for the national news. Factional Senate President of Nigerian Student Associations, NANS declares Associations President Lawal missing. Ten teachers killed, 50 others kidnapped in Kaduna Asus. Bandit killed police officer, still arms at outpost in Zamfara. Still on the national news, unknown gunmen torture policemen in viral video. One Nigerian youth against joining Ibu Beagu army and police. Finally, on sports, Ajibane to lead Super Falcons against Japan in the friendly. Now, the news in detail. The factional Senate president of the National Association of Nigerian Students, NANS, Ismail Adediwura Adushino, has declared the president of the faction, Farouk Lawal, missing hours after announcing his arrest. He had also said that he, Adediwura, spoke with Lawal and that there was no cause for alarm. Adediwura on Tuesday wrote on his Facebook page, Nigeria student, please let us be calm. Faki is not free yet, but I have spoken with him and no protest from now until when is necessary. Adediwura's message came after the association had announced on Facebook that Umar Farouk Lawal was arrested for impersonation. However, on Wednesday, Adediwura, in a statement titled Open Letter to All Security Agencies and well meaning Nigerians on the missing of Comrade Farouk Lawal, the president of NAS, declared Farouk missing. The letter is shared on Facebook read, I'm using this medium to inform the security operatives and well meaning Nigerians of the missing of the Comrade Farouk Lawal the president of the National Association of Nigerian Students since Tuesday, 4th of October, 2022. Comrade Farouk Lawal was last seen around the Maraba Inyanya axis yesterday afternoon. Different information is flying around in the student community that he was kidnapped, while some say he was picked up by security operatives in connection to the crisis within the Students Association. This has generated a lot of tension within the student leadership brand. Moving on to the next story. The Academic Staff Union of Secondary Schools, ASUS, Kaduna State Chapter, has disclosed that bandits have killed 10 teachers and abducted about 50 others in the state. Ishaya Dauda, the chairman of ASUS Kaduna State Chapter, who made the revelation, advised Governor Nasser El Rafai to employ every means that is possible to ensure the release of all teachers and other victims still in captivity in different camps in the state. Briefing newsmen in Kaduna on Wednesday. As part of activities to commemorate the 2022 World Teachers Days with the team, the transformation of education begins with teachers. He lamented that more than 10 secondary school teachers were killed and over 50 others abducted from January to date in Kaduna and the abducted teachers are still in captivity. According to him, the union is fully aware of the insecurity that is threatening the corporate existence of Kaduna state citizens, especially in the schools, urging the state government to take proactive court measures so was bringing the menace to an end. The union stated that it is equally aware of efforts being made by the state government towards the recruitment of Kaduna State Vigilante Service to secure the school against the incessant attacks by terrorists. Moving on to the next story from Zamfara State. Armed bandit has attacked maid mother, I beg your pardon. Armed bandit has attacked mother, police outpost, killed an inspector and cut away rifles belonging to the police in Zamfara State. The incident happened in Mada village in the South local government area of the state. The armed men attacked the police outstation Tuesday night with sophisticated weapons. Sources told TVC that the police personnel at the station flee for safety on sighting the bandit approaching them with deadly weapons. Sadly, one inspector was killed in the attack. Mada community has been suffering from bandit attack and kidnapping in recent times. Residents of the community at the fall this year's raining season fled their homes to save a community due to the incessant attacks. It will be recalled that a retired army corporal and indigent of the village was arrested with rifles, ammunition and other deadly weapons along Kaduna Abuja Highway while on his way to deliver to his client in Saifi, a local government neighboring his hometown Mada. Police and the state are yet to comment on the incident. Zamfara State has been in the throes of banditry and insecurity over the last few years due to what many have come to know as banditry, but which has been changed to nomenclature to terrorism. 
Moving on to the next story. A viral video has shown a policeman identified as Gabriel Anyang being taught beaten by government suspected to be the members of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOR. Gabriel is from the Imo State Criminal Investigation Department and is attached to the Police Public Relations Unit of the State's Police Command. In the viral video obtained by Sahara reporters, the bleeding policeman is seated on the floor, elsewhere in pain expressions. One of the suspected IPOP members was also aired in the background threatening to kill Gabriel for being a member of the Nigeria Police Force instead of joining the moving train. He also warned youth against joining the police, a Bubiagu security outfit, army and other security agencies. Although Sahara reporters cannot independently verify where and when the video was shot, it was gathered that the officer was abducted last week. All these dramas is to join the movement, the moving train, but went ahead to join the slow train. Did they told us, SIC, you that slow train will win? No, the suspected IPOP members was aired saying during the viral video. And lastly, on the national news this hour is a sports story. Rashidat Ajibade will lead Nigeria's senior women team when they confront their Japanese counterpart in the prestigious international friendly match in Kobe on Thursday. Regular skipper Onome Ebi is only just recovering from an injury sustained at the Women's African Cup of Nations final in Morocco in July, and Spain-based forward Azizet Oshuala is not in cover for this encounter. The, the precursors are Jibade scored three of Nigeria's goals in Morocco, including the winner against Cameroon in the quarterfinals that qualified the nine-time African champion to the FIFA Women's World Cup finals in Australia and New Zealand next year. Four choice goalkeeper Chiamaka Inadoze is available alongside defenders Mitchell Alonso, Osinachi Ohale, Ashley Poultry, and Glory Obona, as well as midfielders Ungozi Okobi Okwegena, Christy Uchebe, and Deborah Abiodun, and forward Ifioma Onumunu and Uche Nakanu. These are the players available for the friendly coming up later today. That was the national news from BGI TV. Before we go, some major headlines. We brought to you Factional Senate President of Nigerian Students Association, NAS, declares Association's President, Lawal Missing. Ten teachers killed, 50 others kidnapped in Kaduna, Asus declares. We also brought to you police kill, I beg your pardon, bandits kill police officers still armed at outposts in Zamfara State. And lastly, Ajibade to lead Super Falcons against their Japanese counterpart in the friendly. For more updates on YouTube, our handle is Babagwagene Imo TV. Kindly subscribe and click on the notification bell. Select option all to access our broadcast. On Facebook, Bagwagene Imo with Alawiye Adebayo. Please like and follow the page. On Instagram, Bagwagene Imo underscore 22. For other placements of your goods and services, coverage of events and function, please dial the phone number streaming on the screen for other placements only. Thank you for watching. I am Maury Rebila Lawal.